Have you ever upgraded your Android project only to find it won't start anymore? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're tackling an issue with the Android Gradle plugin and showing you how to fix it. I completely understand how annoying it is when your app crashes right after an upgrade. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar issues when transitioning between plugin versions. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently reported that after upgrading the Android Gradle plugin from version 3.0.0 Alpha 1 to 3.0.0 Alpha 2, their application fails to start. They shared a stack trace that indicates an error inflating a specific class. Sound familiar? Let's dig into this together. So what could be causing this issue? The error message suggests that the class android.support.v7.widget fit Windows Linear Layout is not found anymore. This can happen due to changes in the support library or dependencies not being properly configured. We'll break it down step by step so you can figure out what's going on. And don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. To resolve the issue with the Fit Windows Linear Layout class not being found, the user should first check their project's dependencies. It's possible that the support library version is not compatible with the new Gradle plugin. Next, the user should consider migrating to Android X. The Fit Windows Linear Layout class has been replaced in Android X, so migrating could resolve the issue. After migrating, the user should update their layout files they need to replace any instances of Fit Windows Linear Layout with the new Android X equivalent. Finally, the user should clean and rebuild the project to ensure all changes are applied correctly. This can help eliminate any residual issues from the previous setup. Did you know? The Android support library has undergone many changes over the years, and keeping up with them can feel like a full-time job. But don't worry, you're not alone in this. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution has been shared by another user. They mentioned that the issue has been resolved in Gradle plugin version 3.0.0-alpha 4. So upgrading to this version could fix the problem. Additionally, if you still encounter issues, the user suggests a temporary workaround. You can add specific instructions to your ProGuardRules.pro file to keep certain classes. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always check the compatibility of your libraries with the Gradle plugin version you are using. This simple habit can save you a lot of headaches. And there you have it. Your application should be up and running again. Remember, keeping your dependencies in check is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our bonus tip on managing Android dependencies.